What's up, what's up, what's up? You now tuning in the Old Land TV, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we about to get right into this story today, man. I decided to tell y'all about the assassination of Young Dog, man. Yes, Lord, it's time to break this video down right now, man. We gonna be talking about the reason why Young Dolph was assassinated by these clowns, man. Yeah, we gonna be talking about that right now, man. Young Dolph was murdered on November 17, 2021, all right? He was murdered November 17, 2021. Now, there was a shooting November the 12th in Covington, okay? Covington is a little ways from Memphis, but Covington is where Anita Wilson and Darnisha Wynn was gunned down in their car on the way from their son's football game, all right? On Friday, November the 12th, Darnisha Wynn and Anita Wilson, her partner's mother, were shot at the corner of South College and Church Street after they left the Covington Ripley football game. According to the police, Darnisha's son and another teenager were in the car in the front of the two women. And after they turned on Church Street, the vehicle behind the woman pulled up next to them and shot off nearly 40 rounds from an assault rifle. The women were airlifted to the Regional One Medical Center in Memphis where they were in critical condition for several days. Anita Wilson was reported to be paralyzed but died on Thursday morning. The police said a white Mercedes-Benz coupe caught on surveillance and reported that as the suspect vehicle last weekend. On Wednesday afternoon as he left Makita's Butters Cookies on Airways, Young Dolph, whose given name is Adolph Thornton Jr., was shot to death by two men using assault rifles. The renowned rapper, known for his smart business sense and his endeavors in his hometown, died on the scene. Surveillance footage shows a white Mercedes-Benz was the getaway vehicle in that murder as well. On Saturday, Memphis police found a vehicle ditched behind an abandoned house on Bradley and Orange Mound community. Covington Police Captain Jack Howell confirmed to the leader Saturday afternoon they believe the same vehicle was used in both shootings. It was also noted in the Memphis Police report that the shootings may be related. On Friday, as Covington faced Dyersburg in round three of the playoffs, players had Darnisha's name on their helmets and the mothers of the football players wore her son's number pinned on their shirts in support of the linebacker in honor of the mother who could not be there to cheer him on and in memory of the woman who died the day before as a result of her injuries. There was also a heavy police escort to the game in Dyersburg Friday night to help keep the student athletes safe. The police department has said the Covington shooting was not related to the game which preceded it. According to the police, Darnisha is now in stable condition. No suspects have yet been named or arrested in either shooting. Anyone with information is asked to call to contact CPD Lieutenant Roy McCurry or Captain Jack Howe. Now let's get down to the truth right now on that and the gang and the rest of the world, man. I'm here to deliver you the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God, man. Now all this beef started because Young Dolph was an independent artist, man. Young Dolph was an independent artist and he was doing his thing and he had Memphis on lock, man. And all of those stars and all of the moon and the people and everybody in Memphis crowned Young Dolph to be king of Memphis, man. And Yo Gotti did not like that, all right? Yo Gotti asked Young Dolph to sign with him and Young Dolph refused to sign with Yo Gotti. And that was the start of the bullshit that we have today, all right? Now the first attempt on Young Dolph's life was in North Carolina after the CIAA tournament, all right? Young Dolph tour bus was shot up a hundred times and Black Youngster and Keon Howard was arrested. Young Dolph had a bulletproof vehicle and no one was hurt in the attempt on his life, all right? So Young Dolph left Charlotte, went back immediately into the studio, and he made an album called Bulletproof, man. And when he made this album, he had a track listing on this, okay? And I'm gonna give y'all all of the songs up to number 10 on the track listing of Bulletproof. 
A hundred shots in Charlotte, but I'm bulletproof. So fuck them. That's how I feel. All of them, I'm so real. I pray for my enemies. I'm everything you want to be. Shaking my head. Now that was the track listing for bulletproof. Alright? Now when your Gotti heard the song 100 Shots, he was furiated, alright? He was furiated. They were playing it all over the world, all over the radio, all in the clubs, man. You couldn't get away from 100 Shots, alright? So everybody knew this, and everybody knew the situation that had took place. They tried to take Young Dog's life, man. So Young Dog busts back with Bulletproof album. And instead of him go after retaliation, he decided to make money from the situation, alright? So as the beef continued to go on, back and forth, back and forth, Black Youngster decided to take on the responsibility of beefing with Young Dolph, alright? I guess Black Youngster thought that if he would come out and beef with Young Dolph, that it would make him more mainstream, more popular, you know. He's going after his boss enemy, all right? He's going after his boss's enemy. So now Black Youngster decides to beef with Young Dolph, and then he makes this song called Shake Something, all right? And then, you know, it pissed Young Dolph off, all right? Because Young Dolph never had a problem with Black Youngster, man. Black Youngster was just like Brandy. His bitch ass wanted to be down. Alright? So he took on some shit that got his ass right now in hiding. Alright? So he decided to beef with Young Dog back and forth, back and forth, man. They even tried to squash the beef at one point, but these dudes couldn't see eye to eye, man. That money had the world fucked up and it had them fucked up also, alright? So it was a lot of jealousy behind Young Dog, man. CMGs. Yo Gotti, Big Joke, and everybody, they all decided to beef with Young Dolph, man. Even the guys that Young Dolph helped out, man. Money Bag Yo, Young Dolph gave him his start, man. Money Bag Yo is a sorry, no good motherfucker, alright? Money Bag Yo owes his whole career to Young Dolph, man. Because when he started out, Young Dolph jumped on a track with him, man. And he took off. Young Dolph did a free feature for this clown ass nigga that had something to do with his murder, also, alright? And even Big Juk, Big Juk knows the truth. Man, when his own brother wasn't looking out for him, man, Young Dolph gave him that pack and told him to get right. So Young Dolph even showed love to his enemies, man. He knew these niggas were snakes. He knew these niggas wasn't shit, but he still had a heart and he wanted to see everyone around him win, alright? So the beef continued to go on for years and years, man, until Young Dolph was shot in Los Angeles, man. So in 2017, rapper Young Dolph has been shot and left in critical but stable condition after an argument in Hollywood, Los Angeles. The shooting took place in the valet parking area of the Lowe's Hollywood Hotel and left Young Dolph, real name Adolph Thornton Jr., requiring emergency surgery. LAPD Detective Megan Angular told reporters that the shooting occurred after an argument with three men, which escalated to a physical fight. At one point, Young Dolph was knocked to the ground and then one of the suspects pulled out a handgun and began shooting at him. Police detained one man with the two others at large. A gold Cadillac Escalade belonging to one of the men was found abandoned a block away from the hotel. According to the Associated Press, detectives are investigating whether the attack is part of a dispute between Young Dog and fellow rapper Gotti. TMZ reported that the police have named Gotti as a person of interest after a witness said he was involved. The rappers, both from Memphis, have a long-standing feud, apparently begun in 2014 after Dolph refused to sign the Gotti's label amid jabs on Twitter. Dolph's track, Play With Your Bitch, explicitly attacked Gotti, including with a video cast using a Gotti lookalike. 
Less than a week after the release of the video, more than 100 shots were fired at Young Dolph's bulletproof SUV in an incident in Charlotte, North Carolina, leaving the rapper unharmed. He later taunted his attackers on Twitter, writing, You lose, and performed at a club the same night. Black Youngster, a rapper signed to Yo Gotti's label, who has his own feud with Dolph, was charged along with two others and is currently released on bail. He maintains his innocence, saying a van involved in the shooting hired under his name was stolen. Young Dolph told XXL that he had no clue who shot him. He and Yo Gotti are significant figures in the U.S. rap scene. Dolph is perhaps the best known for appearing on the OT Genesis hit, Cut It, while his album Bulletproof, a reference to surviving the Charlotte attack, reached the U.S. Top 40 in April. Yo Gotti, meanwhile, is currently in the U.S. Top 10 with his single, Rack It Up, featuring Nicki Minaj and that scored two Top 10 albums. So that's the story right there, man. The song Play With Your Bitch. Yo Gotti couldn't take it no more, man. Yo Gotti could not take Young Dolph on his head any longer, man. That song Play With Your Bitch was a reference to Darnisha Wynn, allegedly, alright? Young Dolph made fun of Yo Gotti saying that Darnisha Wynn was the baby mother of Yo Gotti. Alright, and that he had slept with her. So he was telling Yo Gotti in the song how he fucked her and had her in a hotel for a whole week and all kind of crazy shit. Alright, Young Dolph went slap the fuck off. Alright, so that's what did it, man. And that's why we have the connection today between the Covington shooting and the shooting that happened in Memphis that took the life of Adolph Thornton Jr. Alright. So I'm going to present to y'all some pictures right now, man. I want y'all to look up at the screen, man. These are pictures of Yo Gotti and Anita Wilson, man. This is the lady that was killed inside of the car, all right? Yo Gotti knows these people. He is very familiar with his family because he was sleeping with Darnisha Wynn, allegedly, all right? He's known this girl for some time. Young Dolph also knows this girl, and it's rumored that she had a son for Yo Gotti, alright? Now, that hasn't been proven, it's just a rumor, but Young Dolph, with the clownery and the fuckery, went at Yo Gotti for dealing with this broad, alright? And this other picture that I'm gonna show you right now, it shows you that Young Dolph knew these people also, man. Young Dolph got pictures up here with, you know, her boyfriend, which is Darnisha boyfriend at the time of her murder man and you can see right here from these other pictures that we have up on the board right now that money bag yo man young money bag yo is standing here with the shooter all right the shooter of anita wilson and darnisha win yes his name is treyon ingram all right treyon ingram got caught with the gun that killed Anita Wilson, shot Darnisha Wynn, and murdered Adolph Thornton Jr., a.k.a. Young Dolph. Alright? Money back. Right here in a picture with this dude, alright? And then you got these other pictures up here right now, man. It's showing you the connection between these people, man. It was a real connection. They all know each other, alright? Money back was locked up at a nightclub out there with Anita Wilson. You know, they, Anita Wilson was a promoter and she was promoting parties at the time. So she brought money back to the club and the club was raided by the fans. They found guns, bulletproof vests, and all kind of stuff in that club that night, all right? And they locked a number of them up, all right? They locked up Anita Wilson, they locked up Moneybag, man, they locked up a number of these dudes, all right? So what I'm trying to show y'all right now, and I'm trying to paint y'all a clear picture of what's really going on. You got the same car, same gun, and the same bitch, all right? Same car, same gun, same bitch, all right? Now, they were expecting for Darnisha Wynn to be assassinated, man. But she wasn't. So when they put the hit out, 
on Young Dog. They also put the hit out on Darnisha Wynn at the same time. So the shooters were supposed to kill Darnisha Wynn, the girl, play with your bitch, and Young Dog. But the plan failed, okay? They hit the wrong target. They hit Anita Wilson, all right? And Darnisha lived. Young Dog was killed, all right? So you got one living witness from that shooting, which is Darnisha Wynn, the girl or the female that all this bullshit started behind, all right? Yes, Lord, I gotta say that, man. Darnisha Wynn, poison, all right? Yeah, man, she was screwing around with both of these guys at the same time. And Young Dolph let it be known. She was running back, pillow talking allegedly to Young Dolph, pillow talking to Yo Gotti, man, doing the typical bitch shit that get a nigga killed. All right? Every time some shit like this go down, man, it's behind money and pussy. So don't get it twisted, man. This girl right here ain't nothing but the devil, all right? Nothing but the motherfucking devil. Now, when Anita Wilson was killed, all right, she was dealing with Anita Wilson's son. That nigga left her ass immediately, okay? He got the fuck up out of there. Mom Wilson said, man, fuck this hoe. Man, she was in the car when my mom died. All of this shit happened behind her. I'm not fucking with this bitch no more, all right? And that's why he cut her off, and that's why she on Facebook to this day talking shit. Saying this, saying that, but she know the real story of why Mob left her ass, alright? And then you got Sight, the other son, who went up there on the news and told the whole world that it was the same car and the same gun that was involved in the young Dolph assassination and his mother's murder, alright? So Sight even went on. To school show and told him the same shit, alright? So we already know what's going on with this story, man. They struck out. They were supposed to kill Darnisha Wynn and Young Dog. They hit one of their targets, but they missed on Darnisha Wynn, man. And all this shit boiled down right now behind some bitch shit, alright? That's all this is. Some hatin' ass bitch shit, man. And I'ma tell you like this, man. Coming from the street perspective, man. You know, niggas like Yo Gotti with that tender dick, man. He ain't gonna last out here, man. This shit is coming to a head. So Onan TV popped up on the scene three months after this murder. All the bloggers had a three-month head start on Onan. And I brought a lot to this young Dolph assassination, man. I brought a whole lot to this assassination, man. And I'm going to tell you right now, Orange Mound Quit is not to be trusted. So, Orange Mound Quit is the guy who they got for setting the whole thing in motion, all right? He's the one that they hired on the street to get it done. And what happened was, he got caught thanks to Onan and the gang. Yeah, he got caught, man. And now, some shit is going down in Memphis, man. They done picked up Chuck. Black youngster went missing. And then all of a sudden now, black youngster pops back up on the scene and he's beefing with CMG. You know what I'm saying? He's out there making statements like these niggas ain't real. These niggas doing that. These niggas doing this. But we all know what's going on. The streets know what happened to Young Dog. Everybody know what happened to Young Dog, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, God, is a bitch. He's a hoe. And, you know, Young Dog been seeing this, man. But this guy took it to another level, man. Yo, God, he took this shit to another level, man. He was not going to stop until he saw the demise of Adolf Thornton. All right? He was not gonna stop with this shit, man. So right now, we possibly have a Rico indictment brewing in this murder. When you done try to take a man's life one, two, three, four, five times, what do you expect the world to say? 
everybody looking at you. The minute that young dog was gunned down in that crooked ass cookie shop, we all pointed the finger at the bad guy. <laughs> CMG and your God and man. We know what time it is. Everybody in the world know what time it is, man. Same gun, same car, same bitch, man. And this should be a lesson to all these niggas out here in the street right now that's doing all this hate and shit on niggas out here trying to get money, man. It's enough money out here for all us, man. It's enough money out here for all of us. There's enough women out here for all of us. It's enough for all of us. One thing about this generation right now, man, they don't like to see nobody eat, man. They don't want to see you get on. They don't want to see you living right, man. And a nigga take your life, man, just by the way you look. You might look better than this nigga, and he might just want to kill you, man. These niggas be on some real whole shit out here, man. And this is old Nan Gang, man, and I love y'all. But this is the real story. This is the real story behind the assassination of Adolf Thornton Jr. Same car, same gun, same bitch. On and and again, stand up right now, man. I love y'all, man. We done put a whole year worth of work into this shit, man. And it's paying off right now, man. This the game, bitch.